pas shumë të ri që kanë dëndu dhe janë hëllën të hela se s'kanë mujt me i përbalu vujtjes dhe të mërrit që njërë zorë që ashtë në shtru ma komanda në ne me urmër në kuptohet të qeverisë në të të ministrisë punë e të matëshme. Atëherë, unë jam dënu 25 vite burkë, kam kënë moshën 24 vjeqë për të rëthi në e dotë se kam dalë në Jugoslavi. Dhe marveshja që ka pa shteti shqiptar me shtetin Jugoslavë, ka kënë që gjithdo përsën nga Shqipëria që të rëthiset me dalë në Jugoslavi me i këtë. Jugoslavia je te 1973. godine bila obećana zemlja za Zenjela Drangua, ali i hiljade drugih Albanaca koji su željeli pobjeći od totalitarnog režima Envra Hođe. Zenjel je rijekom Bunom, koja je jednim dijelom prirodna granica između Albanije i bivše Jugoslavije, došao do Ulcinja. Tu su ga ipak identifikovali službe državne bezbjednosti tadašnje Jugoslavije i vratili u Albaniju. Narednih 16 godina proveo u zatvoru Spač, koji je bio i radni logor. Štad vagona. Para da ma thom kao pas për të tyr një punëtor. Pa dy punëtor që kam pasun, a dasht 14 vagona. Atëherë, unë si minator për me kapë ciklin, pra detyrën, a dasht me i ba birat në balë atje një metër, që me kem regull me komandën që mos me pas pasoja dhe nëshkim. Kja ka kem e përdiqme. Plus si mi njëra ka kem si në mesjet, pra ke kem i pas si gurt atje. Se ke hi mërën me shokun tuj dhe ke uru tjetërin hajtë dalë që ishtë nashë, dhe me kratë leta, kur vite puna në fund të turnit, thoshin e dzuni mi njera x person, pa nuk ka dalë, dhe sot e kësaj dite, janë atje të varrosën, atje se s'kan mojtë me gjerë. Shumë janë gjerë, pa dhe shumë kanë metë, pa u gjerë. Oni koji su preživjeli jame obližnjeg rudnika Bakra i Pirita, pravi pa kao čekao je povratkom u zatvorske sobe. Pa te këtu, ko ta ku me fjet ma shumë, se ta na lomat janë njësaj. Kena fjet 54 vet një lom, dhe dyshek kanë kenë, pra dyshek kashtet, si që keni aty mrapa, Pa kashta nuk ka kënë e re si qashta ja, në mërti zume e bahon me pluhun. Këtu të shti, shifen vendet këtu si qashtë kati par, ka kënë i to që kanë fjetë dhëtë vetë. Kati dytë ka kënë dheri to që kanë fjetë dhëtë to, dhe kati tërët që kanë fjetë dhëtë atje që bëjnë të rilëtë. Aty në të kra. Kanë fjetë pra me tre kate, ka gjasht vetë që bëjnë të të mëtë vetë. Dhe këtu, buzë dherët ka keni dyshe që kanë fjetë gjasht vetë dhe bëjnë pës të katër vetë. Pra, distansa ka keni gjasht dhe centim. Pas ke mujtë me fjetë në shpinë, se ke taku njenin majtas dhe djathas. Dhe ka keni një torturë malë e fjetja, se jo të gjithë, kanë mujt me majt higjenin. Pa se edhe të lodhë në gjënim nga jeta, nuk i veshin anësi aty, pa ishin ma si njës parajmi vjetëve. Pra dhe më thanë në kam të baktis. U ove dvije zgrade zatvora Spač bilo je smješteno 1400 zatvorenika. Svako jutro odvođeni su na prisilni rad u obližnji rudnik, bakra i pirita. 
nakon osmosatne smjene u kojoj su morali ispuniti normu, pod pratnjom i stražom ponovo su vraćani ovdje. Ulazili su u sobe koje su veličine od prilike 50 kvadrata u kojima je povremeno boravilo i do 54 ljudi. Ljeti je temperatura u tim prostorijama dostizala i do 45 stepeni Celzijusa. Upravo zatvora koristila je različite metode psihofizičkog zlostavljanja, a jedna od njih je bila da zatvorenici čak nisu smjeli izaći ni na ovu terasu ili ukoliko su izašli nisu smjeli da se zadržavaju. Zašto? Da bi se prekinula svaka veza sa vanjskim svijetom, da ne bi vidjeli put ko dolazi i prolazi, da se slučajno ne bi bili vidjeni ili oni vidjeli neko od obližnjih seljana koji su povremeno prolazili ovim putem. Sve to zbog eventualne mogućnosti da planiraju bijeg. Spač je bio jedan od zatvora za političke zatvorenike širom Albanije. To je za sve one koji se nisu slagali sa diktaturom komunističke albanske partije rada, koji je vodio Enver Hođa od kraja drugog svjetskog rata do svoje smrti 1985. godine. Zatvor Spač otvoren je 1968. a zatvoren 1990. Nalazi se visoko u planinama sjeverne Albanije oko stotinu kilometara od Tirane. Politički protivnika i neistomišljenika Enver Hođa se rješava ubistvima ili zatvaranjem u radne logore, ukoliko nisu uspjeli da emigriraju. Svaki treći Albanac iskusio je patnje Hođinog režima. Zenel kaže da su nade polagali u međunarodnu intervenciju, vjerovali su da će pomoći da se promjeni vlast i uređenje. No to se nije dogodilo, a nakupljeno nezadovoljstvo pretvorilo se u najveću pobunu protiv režima u gotovo pet decenija dugoj apsolutističkoj vladavini. Snage sigurnosti su bila raspoređene od tirane do planina oko zatvora. 1973. godine u zatvoru Spač izbila je pobuna. Zatvorenici su tražili bolje i humanije uslove rada. Pobuna je ugušena nakon tri dana. Četvero zatvorenika je ubijeno, 80 ih je presuđeno na dodatnih 25 godina teške robije. Tri dana nakon što je pobuna ugušena svim ostalima i koji jesu i koji nisu učestvovali u pobuni, zabranjena je hrana i voda. No zatvorenici su za ta tri dana pobune ipak uspjeli da sa ovog trećeg sprata zatvorske zgrade pruže albansku zastavu. Crvenu pozadinu zastave obojili su svojom krvlju, a zastava nije imala petokraku, što je bila tadašnja nacionalna zastava Albanije za vrijeme vladavine Envera Hođe. Dolazku u spač prethodilo je zatvaranje i ispitivanje u najvećem istražnom zatvoru u Skadru, koji je počeo sa radom 1946. i postojao sve do 1990. Prvi godina poslije drugog svjetskog rata zatvarane su vjerski službenici, intelektualci, a potom svi ostali koji se nisu slagali sa rigidnim komunističkim režimom Envera Hođe. To je svijetno francijskog svijetka, koji je tu u memorijal, da se komemorati ga. Svijetno je plumi, koji je arrestao dvije razlije. During his life, the first time he was arrested from 1946 to 1949, he spent three years in in prison, and the second time he was arrested from 1978 to the 90s, till the 90s, because he try he was trying to escape from Albania to leave the country. You said that he was a Catholic priest. Yes. And for what was he accused? Uh, he was accused first during the first uh, during the first uh, accusation he was arrested with a group of franciscan fathers for something what they don't committed because the sigurimi of state the secret state police 
uh, put some weapons and documents inside their church and then in the day after they go there and uh, discovered what the Franciscan kept inside but it was just a scenario, a dark scenario of them and so for that, for that story four Franciscan fathers were shot by firing swords and a lot of them were arrested and one of them was Father Zepulmi. The second time he was trying to escape from Albania, leaving the country in the northern mountains of our country, he was trying to escape in uh, Yugoslavia during the time and he was arrested by the secret state police and he spent uh, 23 years in prison after. The main, the main goal, I mean, of the administration, of the communist administration was to put people inside these cells and there were some, um, not just physical tortures, but also psychological, mental uh, tortures. So people here inside, you can see it actually is very, is very, is very cold, a lot of humidity, a little air and uh, light which came in and so It's people... not light? No, no light, I'm... just that window over there and during the summer even the sun cannot come uh, cannot come inside. Prisoners were allowed to go to the toilet just two times a day, uh, always uh, with uh, with a guard, with a guard which was uh, here for one minute or two minutes. And if you maybe if you need something extra, I mean you can do it maybe here inside this inside this room. Ovo su čelija od broja 7 do 10 na gornjem, na drugom spratu ovog istražnog zatvora koji je bio najveći zatvor, istražni zatvor u Albaniji, nalazi se u skadru i ovo su bile samice, dakle u onim ostalim ima makar malo svjetla prirodnog koja je dolazila, u ovim nema nikako. Metar sa metar i pol. Ako sam ja metar i šestdeset i koji centimetar? Sad ne puni 60 kg, evo možete zamisliti koliko je ovo bilo, ako ja mogu dohvatiti sa obje strane, taj zid. I kako su nam rekli, u početku je bilo predviđeno ovaj tip ćelija, ne ova jer je ovo bila samica, ali ovaj tip da boravi jedno lice, odnosno jedan osuđa pritvorenik, jer je bio istražni zatvor, da bi vremenom čak do sedam ljudi boravilo u ovako maloj prostoriji. To dovoljno govori o uslovima koje su vladali u ovom zatvoru. Ovaj istražni zatvor od 2014. godine je muzej svjedočanstva i mjesto sjećanja na žrtve komunističkog terora Envara Hođe, koji kako svjedoče dokumenti nije imao milosti ni za partijske drugove, ni za članove porodice. Suđenja političkim optuženicima su u prvim godinama nakon rata bila javna, kako bi javnost bila svjesna posljedica koje trpe politički neistomišljenici. Barrio Mari, which was the brother-in-law of Enver Hoxha, of the dictator, and uh, even he was shot for his political uh, beliefs. And Enver Hoxha said always in, in, in his personal diaries that uh, Barrio Mari was his enemy as a, as a political uh, ideology. But he killed him and uh, he left her, his, uh, his sister without a husband and he left his nieces without, uh, without, uh, without a father. The second one was the trial of the deputies, which was held in 1946. Also in this trial, 17 people were killed, uh, shot, and maybe the most notable of them was Sheikh Ibrahim Karbunara, which was uh, shot also with his son. But Sheikh Ibrahim Karbunara was one of the first deputies of our country in 1920, when we had the first Albanian parliament in our history, recent history, and also he was one of the signers of the uh, independence of Albania from the Ottoman Empire in, 19, uh, in 1912. And the last trial was the trial against the opposition group 
1947, just a few months later, and with that trial, which killed more than 12 people, uh, deputies, we don't have any more an opposition group in our parliament from 1947 till the 90s after 1991. U ovom zatvoru u skadru pritvarane su i žene i maloljetnici. The 60s, also during the 70s, it was very common for the time that people wants to escape uh, from Škoder and a lot of people trying to escape from the lake. So they, maybe they can take some boats or swimming or from Buna River, which is the borderline with uh, Montenegro actually, or former Yugoslavia during the time, and a lot of people escaped. Uh, we have to say in the 90s, uh, we have just in 1990, we have 12 people of Škoda which were killed trying to escape from the border lines of our country. But the story of these three teenagers is um, a story of them which uh, happened in 1961. They tried to escape with a boat from the lake, Škodra Lake, going from Škoda to, uh, to uh, former Yugoslavia, but they were arrested. And they were, they were lucky, I mean, because uh, they don't shoot them. Uh, but they don't shoot them because they, uh, they captured them and they were, they were teenagers. They, they were 17 years old or 18 years old, and so they were arrested for the, what they've done. For a lot of Albanians, you know, it was impossible to imagine what was happening uh, outside the country because Albania was the most isolated country in the world. I mean, in the, after, just after the 90s, Albanians can see what was the world outside. And, you know, in the 90s, uh, a lot of Albanians left the country with ships, especially to Italy and especially to land, especially to Greece. And just in this year, for example, in the 90s, the world starts to know something about Albania and about Albanians. Posebnu jezu u ovom autentičnom mjestu sjećanja izaziva soba 22. Soba broj 22, ovo je bila soba za ispitivanje koja je rekonstruisana po sjećanju bivših zatvorenika. Mr. Merdita, what you can tell me about this room? This was the main room of the, of the prison because this was the investigation room okay. or a torture room because we have some evidences how people were kept inside and how people were interrogated during the time. We know from the files, from the archives that the uh, physical torture was used for the entire period of the communist dictatorship. In these premises it was used every time, also the psychological or mental uh, okay. torture. Can, can you explain me, what is this? There are some objects which were used uh, during the time for interrogation purposes, some, uh, regi some uh, recorders. One of the most uh, used uh, way of tortures was the electroshock. And so we have a generator which was uh, which was in use during the time to produce electricity and the electroshock was the main torture which we have from the evidences and which, we, which, which was used during the time. All the Albanian border by land was closed with a wild wire, so Albania looks like a big prison under the sky. Pierin Mirdita kaže da se albansko društvo mora suočiti sa događajima iz svoje prošlosti i osvijestiti tragediju kroz koju je prošlo. We have to deal with it, we have to face off with it. It's one of the maybe maybe the darkest side of our recent story, but uh, you know, we have to we have to to tell it. We have to find the courage to 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 face with people which was working for the communist administration during the time to comfort people which were uh, which were uh, arrested for political reasons or for their uh, ideas or maybe for their uh, for their I don't know people was arrested for 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 some strange things if you if you were listening to a, to a radio foreign radio if you have a different thought by um, 
a different thought from the communist ideology you were uh, enemy of the of the country if you like italian music or yugoslavian music or if you were uh, with uh, some uh, western clothes or if you have some really, hair yes, 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 yes. yes or if you don't like uh, you or if you don't like bread or if you don't like milk or if you don't like something what you had from your daily life and for sure for the political reasons if you talk against the against the politics if you talk against the dictator and Verhoja or if you talk against the people which work which were working for the communist administration yeah for sure you will go to jail and it goes from uh, seven uh, from seven years to prison until to penalty death Čas žrtvama komunističke represije organizacija za pravdu i mir u Albaniji podigla je spomenik u centru Skadra. In the first floor you can see two females which we tried uh, the author tried to uh, summarize to explain the sufferances of the women during the communist time and we had uh, some prisons for female as well in Korča is the city of uh, Albania in south east of Albania. And if you go in the uh, second floor, you can see three people, males. And the first one has been uh, dedicated to the intellectuals, which has been suffered very much, because if you know, Edward Hoxha hated the intellectuals and was, so let's say, somehow afraid by them because was uh, prepared and they studied outside of Albania. And uh, so you, we decided to represent them with this uh, person. And the second one is a clergy, so a cleric from, uh, so it's not Catholic one or Orthodox or Muslim one. You can, you can, can be three religions. And the idea was to represent the sufferances of them. Uh, maybe in the second, po uh, uh, second uh, position are the clergies because, you know, in 67th in Albania, the manifestation, uh, religious manifestation has been prohibited. And all the institution, uh, religious uh, institution has been closed and has been destroyed. And the, prison, uh, the, the priests and the muazins has been arrested and put into a jail. And uh, so we decided to dedicate. I know something about Catholic uh, religion, Catholic uh, church. So we can count something like 104 priests, Franciscan fathers and priests, which has been arrested and killed during the communist time. But not only them, only the Muslim communities has been persecuted and uh, Orthodox uh, communities. So is, uh, another one, the third one, is the uh, mountain people. They suffered very much because they was, uh, in, let's say, clearly against the communist regime. Our two people work in mines. So if you go to uh, Spachi prison, for example, and you, if you see the building is nice with lot, a lot of windows, it's big one and seems to be hotel. But in fact, the problem of sufferances and uh, sacrifices are not in the building or in the mines, because they work many hours per day, bringing out a mineral, mineral of copper, maybe 80 wagons per day, which is uh, really very difficult to do. And uh, so for us it was uh, against the human rights, because in our constitution was not allowed for the people condemned for the political prisoners to work. And uh, for that, so they used to do, and a lot of people died in the mines and uh, spent a lot of uh, uh, good time of them. And the idea was to represent them as well. And the eighth one is the lady waiting. It's beautiful, it's very touchy, it's, it's interesting. And when I saw the work of, uh, of the artist, I saw everything is... Uh, this part and uh, the half of the monument is the lady waiting, waiting with a bag. So, and for me, a uh, little bit emotional in this uh, point, uh, remembered my mother, my grandmother, which uh, went to the prison to visit my father, which has been as well uh, ex-prisoners and has been condemned when he was 23 years old. And so I really enjoyed in the, let's say, negative way, the, this, uh, this part of monument. And she's waiting, maybe he'll wait one day, maybe he w w walked per days to go to visit uh, 
her relatives and to see and to bring something to eat because the condition of the prisons of Albania was really, really very, very bad. And she brought bread, but brought uh, in, a, let's say, in a special way, love from the families, from the children, from the brothers and sisters on. Luigi nam priča da je i sam sin političkog zatvorenika i da djeci zatvorenika nije bilo dozvoljeno da biraju škole u koje će ići. Not allowed for us to study different schools because uh, I was a son of uh, ex-prisoner because I liked the art for example. I tried to paint for many times six, since 6 years old I still paint but what not allowed for, allowed for me to yeah to study at school this was a gymnasium and was for the people like me but then every time i saw i saw the prison i remember the sufferings of my father and uh, when i so grow up i asked him to tell me something about the communist regime about sufferings of them and his uh, made prisons and so on and i know something about that perhaps the idea to to build a, a memorial here not even low for my father, but not only for him, but for his colleagues and uh, for the people who suffered in Škoda. And we consider this not memorial of sufferances or victims of communism, but also a memorial of resistance of Škoda people, because we res resisted very much during the communist time. And for that, for that Škoda has been the city which uh, has been much persecuted in Albania. In 1967, Albania became an atheist country, and apart from many other religious objects, a big cathedral in the center of Skadra was turned into a Košarkaš hall. Thirty-eight soldiers from Skadra were killed because of the opposition of the communist government. Znači, od 38 koji su proglašeni mučenicima prije, sad već bit će sedam godina, 2016. Kosti su samo od njih 11. Drugi su nestali ili su recimo ovi koji su ubijeni tu kod groblja u Skadru. Njihova tjelesa su bačena u rijeku. Jedan je u draču ubijen, bačen je tamo u more. Mnoga su znači tjelesa mučenika nestala. Tako da od njih 11 imamo ovdje relikvije. Četiri su bile pokopora ovdje na katoličkom groblju u Skadru. Drugi su u raznim grobljima. Jedan je iz Janjeva, Janjevac, on je bio pokopan u ležu. I njegove kosti, zapravo tu su dijelovi kostiju. Jer oni koji nisu pokopani u Skadru, oni su, recimo, ako su rodom iz jedne župe ili su radili tamo, kosti su vraćene u te crkve. Samo su dijelovi kostiju u onoj kutiji drvenoj tamo. To su od njih 11. I to je kad su bili proglašeni mučenicima, onda su to nosili u procesiji. Tako da zapravo od njih četvorice su kosti dole, ovo što vidite, koji su bili pokopani. Znači, komplet njih ove kosti su u ovoj katedrali i na tome oltaru mučenika. Za neke se uopće ne zna, jer su neke bačene čak u krećane, jer su oni radili i onda su bacili da su potpuno njihove kosti nestale. U septičke jame, stvarno, mislim, kažem, to bi trebalo puno, puno pričati o njima, vjerojatno ste puno toga i čuli kad ste bili danas samo u spaču i tako. Jer se nisu htjeli odreći vjere, Htjeli su ostati vjerni papi Vatikanu, eto to je, to je njihov grije. To su zapravo najinteligentni ljudi bili. Svi su studirali vani. Nisu to samo svećenici, među njima ima i lajka. 
ima jedna djevojka što gore se vidi na slici. Ona je učila za časno. Ona je bila učiteljica. Jednostavno, oni su njoj obećavali sve, samo da bi se odrekla vjere. Međutim, ona nije i tako da je mučenički ubijena. I onda kažem, to su bili svi stvarno intelektualci, svi ti svećenici. Svi su govorili najmanji po tri, četiri jezika, strana jezika. Svi su studirali vani i oni su htjeli uništiti inteligenciju. Prema podacima Muzeja svjedočanstva i sjećanja u Skadru, više od 5,5 hiljada ljudi je streljano. Više od 14,5 hiljada Albanaca bilo je u zatvorima, u kojima je blizu hiljadu umrlo zbog torture, a oko 300 ima trajne mentalne poremećaje. Protiv više od 43 hiljada su uvođeni politički procesi pred sudovima. Колеги уштарак, едукат сидар, на база на нене двучините штати ве гјаш, двучините штати ве штат, ве двучините кои ве ти коди процедур спанале ве ндос. Да нам за нешеум ме вдеке ме пушкатим, да нам алил бланицам ме вдеке ме пушкатим. Да нам ме кабашим ме вдеке ме пушкатим, да нам нам сулим ме вдеке ме пушкатим, да нам гани малуши ме вдеке ме пушкатим, да нам рапуша голи ме вдеке ме пушкатим. Dhe nëmë Ibrahim Lam që në rjetë vjetë burgim dhe me humje në së drejtës elektorale për 5 vjetë kohë. Gjyqi, provoj edhe njerë se populli në pronë me vigilenc punin e ti pajsore dhe të ardhme në ti, në në shdo përkikje të imperialistëve dhe veklave të tyre që duan të këthejnë në rne të kaluarë. U muzeju kažu da u saradnji sa školama nastoje približiti ovaj dio albanske istorije mladim ljudima. When the history teacher have to explain the history of communism or the consequences which the communist dictatorship uh, left in, uh, in Albania, they come here with, uh, the, uh, with the students, with the school uh, pupils and uh, gave their history lesson about communism here by seeing Uh, our uh, sections in the museum by seeing our exhibitions and learning more about the history of uh, communism and uh, giving the proper lessons of it. Zamir Lazani bio je član radničke partije Envera Hodži, za koju danas tvrdi da nije bila komunistička. Rođen je 1952. godine i kaže da nije znao za istražni zatvor u Skadru ili radni logor u Spaču, iako su postajali do 1990. Unë kam gen antari partijs, por jo në konceptet e, dhe më than, partija punska ka një parti, Patriote, jo në konceptin e filozofisë, sepse sa rrite për me kuptu. Pra, dhe tyra e pare partijin spunës ka kenë garantimi eksistences shtetit edhe të poblit shqiptarë. Homogenizimin e unifikimit të poblit shqiptarë. Si shqiptarë nuk e kishin për shumë arsy. Për nëjna, u zgodhë një, me kënë se edhe këto ishin termë të zorshme, u zgodhë që mund bate pun edhe në unifikimin edhe në konsolidimin edhe garantimin e eksistences shtetë. Sepse shtetë edhe sot ka problemet pas gjithu në historikë. Ka pretendime teritoriale, sot që flasë. Istovremeno profesor političkih nauka, mentor Beća, iako je rođen sredinom 80. godina, dobro je upoznat sa onim što se dešavalo u Albaniji tokom vlasti Envra Hođe. 
Pripada jednoj od mnogih porodica koje su patile i čiji članovi su bili u komunističkim zatvorima. Moj father i moj uncle were put into in Tepelena. It was a, a horrible uh, camp in Tepelena where uh, many children were put there. Many of them died there. Fortunately, my father was not one of them, but uh, he was sent there in 1948 and remained there from 1948 up to 1951. Uh, afterwards, the camp of Tepelena was closed, but my father was seven years old and my uncle was only five years old. They had to live in terrible conditions in the camp of Tepelena and only my grand-grandmother went there to help them because my uh, grandfather and my grandmother were not in Albania. They actually left in 1948 Albania and went to Kosovo and this was the reason why my father and my uh, uncle were put in the camp. Profesor Beća kaže da njegov otac ni godinama poslije nije smio govoriti o iskustvima iz zatvora Tepelina. Uh, my father never spoke about it because it was so dangerous to speak about uh, the camp of Tepelena as it actually did not exist because he, if he tried uh, to speak about it, he could have been imprisoned immediately. So it was very dangerous during the communist time to speak about even about personal experiences. Uh, I lived in a, in, in a side in Albania where uh, uh, televisions from Belgrade and Pristina and, uh, were, uh, were seen, but it was very much difficult even to watch such, such televisions because uh, it was dangerous and then you could have been imprisoned. Even when we saw Pristina or Belgrade during that time, we as kids were told by our, uh, by our parents that you don't have to talk about it because we, can, we, we will have troubles afterwards. Uh, most of the families in Albania were uh, persecuted because the communist regime of Enver Hoxha was such a brutal regime that he uh, actually imprisoned almost 35,000 uh, men and women. Uh, he killed uh, almost 6,000 men, men and women and uh, he enslaved thousands and thousands of more people in many camps, working camps, that were scattered around Albania. So most of the people even living now have a kind of experience with the communist regime. But the main question is that people do not speak loudly about communist regime. As I, uh, as I have said many times that one of the biggest successes of the communist regime is that it has made people to believe now that communist regime doesn't exist anymore. Actually, it is among us uh, with a persistent uh, impact and influence among Albanian society. Tragovi komunističkog režima u Albaniji vidljivi su suda. Iza Envera Hođe ostalo je 700.000 bunkera koji su građeni u centrima gradova, pored saobraćajnica, podjednako i u ruralnim dijelovima zemlje. Neki od njih danas su turističke atrakcije kao i sam način života u komunizmu. U centru Tirani nalazi se nekoliko vila koje je Enver Hođa koristio. U drugoj polovini 80-ih, poslije smrti Envera Hođe, vlast je preuzao Rami Zalija. Zabrene su neznatno popustile, pa su se i dalje u tajnosti i uz mjere opreza gledali kanali koji su emitovali program sa područje bivše Jugoslavije. By watching Yugoslav televisions, to a certain extent, I learned a bit of Cyrillic and understanding, because we used to watch crtani film, erotički film, you know, like... 
Baratonsky film, all these things, you know, like we loved those. Okay. My grandfather, he used to speak a slight bit. Okay. And we used to watch Lepa Brena. So what we try to do is capture either Italian or Yugoslav radios on the radio, either Yugoslav or Italian TVs on, uh, on the television. What did uh, on the Yugo Yugoslav televisions, I remember my grandfather, which was very good at making the right kind of antennas. We would capture either Belgrade, either Titograd. Okay. And uh, it was great because, you know, you could see uh, Tom and Jerry on a Yugoslav television. It was not allowed in Albania, it was too American. You could see, I remember this period must have been uh, the second part of the 80s. Uh, we used to have a lot of people at home or we would gather to some cousins, fr uh, families and there was Dynasty on one of the Yugoslav televisions, I don't remember which one. And Dynasty was a great way for us to somehow dream, dream about a free and prosperous world, you know, and this was great. It was a bit of a trip, it was for us as traveling, you know, with our minds. And uh, I remember the Ferraris, the blonde, beautiful girls, you know, and all these things. And, uh, and it was fun, generally, and it was a reason for people to keep talking about something, secretly, of course. You couldn't talk to everyone, but let's say to your best and most loyal friends or cousins, you could talk about what they did last night on Dynasty. If I remember properly, this was uh, for a while on Thursdays. Actually, it was a bit of a party for us, let's say, in the regime. The regime couldn't afford really much anymore, you know, like they were bankrupting, let's say, also in their, you know, capacities to control the situation. But still, the propaganda was very important. And uh, I know that people have gone to jail for telling about, you know, their, uh, their Yugoslav TV show or concert show the previous nights, you know, like, and uh, they had gone to prison for things like this. We also had the Italian television, La Rai, where, for example, me as a child, I was very interested in watching the cartoons and the, and, the, and the films. And they were very good, of course, the Italians at showing their Italian or American films, actually. But again, for this, when you are going out in the neighborhood to play with the other friends, you make sure, and your parents are going to be very good at telling you that you cannot talk around, you know, like you saw it, but shut up, you know, like keep this for yourself and for home. You cannot tell the other children that, oh, you saw this American TV and you loved their car or their freedom or their rock music or anything like that. You needed to be very careful, even as a child. In Albania, until the end of communism in 1991, the secret police was actively working in Sigurimi, which followed the repressive methods of the NKVD, KGB and Stasi. U centru Tirane nalazi se kuća Lišća, koja je bila tajno sjedište Sigurimi i centar za prisluškivanje i praćenje. To je danas muzej sa originalnim eksponatima koji su nekada služili za uhođenje i nadzor građana, a koji su pratili tadašnje savremene tehnike prisluškivanja i snimanja. Šta se dešavalo iza ovih prozora znalo je sam uže rukovodstvo Sigurimija i partije, a zaposleni agenti nisu smjeli komunicirati među sobom, nego samo sa nadređenim. In the house of Leeds, uh, there were uh, officers of uh, Sigurimi who uh, worked uh, for the controlling of the population. Uh, it was uh, controlled uh, for, for the electronic uh, control through the bags uh, and for um, the control of the telephone, telephonic control, and also the, the control of uh, the letters, as we said. Um, uh, the House of Leeds was divided in different uh, uh, offices where they worked and uh, there were uh, some offices were uh, dedicated, for example, for the translators because there were a lot of uh, information who were taken from different embassies, for example, and uh, who had to be uh, translated after. So uh, some of the offices were for the translators, some were, were for the officers who, um, uh, or the technicians who, who kept all the information, uh, who took the information from the, from the bags. For example, this is one of the equipments who was uh, used um, and they could control, they could do uh, 10 registrations simultaneously. Yes, through these uh, kind of uh, uh, registrators, O'Hare. It was transcripted. Uh, it was uh, given to the, um, to, um, uh, let's say, the um, 
uh, head of the office, and they, after that, uh, the head of office ha uh, evaluated if there was enough information uh, who was dangerous or uh, who uh, was insignificant. So they decided after that. Ovo je soba 27. U njoj se nalaze uređaji koji su služili za prisluškivanje građana širom tirane. Prisluškivali su se telefonski razgovori. Ljudi koji su u to vrijeme, rijetki, koji su u to vrijeme imali telefon. I svi prisluškivani razgovori su slušani ovde. Sa ove strane nalaze se sprave u koje su dolazili prisluškivani razgovor iz privatnih kuća putem prisluškivača koje su stavljeni u privatne stanove i kuće Albanaca i kako bi se dočarao taj dojem kako je to izgledalo, ti prisluškivači su, kada je ovaj muzej napravljen, stavljeni u nekoliko soba u prizemlju i na prvom spratu, povezani sa ovim uređajima i sada možemo čuti šta neko u prizemlju ili u nekoj od soba na prvom spratu gdje se nalaze ti prisluškivači govori. Nije baš razgovjetno, uređaji su stari i već odavno ta tehnologija ne funkcioniše kako bi trebalo, ali je vrlo slikovito. Na taj način su u tajnoj policiji, u tajnoj službi za vrijeme Envera Hodže kontrolisani životi hiljada i hiljada Albanaca. Pored agenata i informera koji su bili dio tajnog, Sigurini službe, tokom godina tajna policija razvila je sistem osmatranja i nadziranja među građanima, pa je 1991. godine čak 15.000 ljudi nelegalno radilo za službu. Praćeni su i nadzirani svi. This was the laboratory which functioned as a laboratory for the medical exams from 1931. But after 1945, this place was used for uh, the opening and for the control of the letters, um, the correspondence of uh, people between uh, them. There are a lot of uh, letters which were, um, which were opened. In fact, all the letters that uh, went uh, abroad the country or uh, who came from uh, abroad, who were opened and controlled. Uh, here are some, um, some equipments uh, which were used in that period. For example, this was an autoclava who was supposed to uh, hygienize the medical instruments, but because it, it produced steam, they used it for the opening of the letters. After on, they had, later on, they had some uh, more sophisticated equipments from China uh, this kind of equipment, for example, who have uh, sophisticated and where the steam is produced exactly in the place of the envelope to open it in order that people uh, wouldn't understand that the letter was open. But in fact, uh, we knew in that period that the letters uh, were controlled, especially if they were between countries. Uh, because they wanted to control people and to know everything that uh, people um, uh, that people even think in that period, and they they wanted to identify uh, people who were against the regime and who would um, would uh, be some uh, possible enemies of the regime. Sve fotografije koje su bile rezultat praćenja i nadzora građana, agenci Sigurimi policije razvijali su u mračnoj komori u kući Lišća. Svi su se materijali smatrali strogo povjerljivim. Now we are in the dark room where they developed the pictures that they took. In fact, they didn't want to develop them in other places. They had, the place had to be very secret and that's why they developed them here. We can, all these equipments that you can see are found here in the House of Leaves. And uh, in fact, some uh, Agfa film, maybe you remember, and some uh, solutions uh, which were uh, used in that period or uh, other equipments to cut the, the pictures. The 
U svakom dijelu zemlje moguće je naći simbole komunističke prošlosti Albanije, no vrlo rijetko i simbole koji svjedoče o patnjama žrtava tog režima, kaže profesor Beća, i to je ono što zamjera demokratskim vladama nakon Edvara Hođe, pa i vlasti Edija Rame. Of course, he is not personally responsible for uh, communist regimes. He was very young during that time. And he was a kind of dissident uh, at the end of the communist regime. But he is coming from a family with very deep relations with uh, communist elites. He is uh, the nephew of one of the members of Politburo, and he is the son of one of the members of the Presidium. Uh, which was a high institution during, during the communist regime. And he actually, when he succeeded the uh, Socialist Party, with this, which is the continuation of the Communist Party or uh, work, uh, Working Party of Albania, uh, he accommodated around him a lot of people that have family relations with uh, communist, uh, former communist leadership during that time. This happens because of uh, political control of our old political elites in new clothes that is uh, leading Albania. It is important, I believe, for us as a nation to remember what happened and to make sure that we take lessons out of what happened and make sure that we don't let it happen anymore. Let's say, because the risk is always there, I believe, and uh, all these guys want, the communists, you know, like Enver Hoxha, all he wants is for us to forget about him, so he can come through another face and another name and another uh, ideology, you know, like, and this is a risk, I believe. Institut za istraživanje komunističkih zločina koji finansira vlada Albanije radi od 2013. godine, ali novac koji stiže je nedovoljen za sve što bi trebalo uraditi. Nekoliko godina nakon pada komunističkog režima od 1995. do 1996. bilo je nekoliko suđenja visoko rangiranim funkcionerima koji su osuđeni na zatvorske kazne, ali koje nisu izdržali do kraja. The government changed, the party in power changed, Uh, came back the ex-communist party, which is still today in power, and uh, they, they, they got uh, them out of jail. They released them, these uh, ex-high-ranking uh, communist uh, politicians. Everything that has happened re reflects the um, society's stance on, on the past. It, it, it was controlled by communists for a long time and it has been supporting the communists for a long time and I think the ex-communist party, so, socialist party now, it, it is the most, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, the, the biggest party which has the, the most solid base. Mm -hmm. This was the, uh, I mean, brainwashing part of society which is supporting them. Žrtve također zamjeraju što nove vlasti nikada nisu provele proces lustracije niti zaštitili mjesta masovnog stradanja poput zatvora Spač i Tepelina. Oh, because they are, uh, they said we are not going to do some uh, civil war because they waited 20 years. According to some international laws, we need to, to, to wait some time because can be some uh, revenge or maybe some blood feud, but it's not acceptable for me. And they never tried. And I'm a bit, uh, for me, it's not acceptable because they, both parts, let's say, Democratic Party and Socialist Party, uh, decided, uh, so agreed to don't do this. And uh, I'm, for me, it's really strange. And I don't know why, so I'm asking why. Oh, because they are ashamed about the, uh, the past or because they are going to just to cover and to collaborate to go ahead. Because for me, it has been not done. It has been not done and the prison has been abandoned and most of them has been destroyed during these 30 years and which left are so going to be destroyed like uh, Spachi. We try to do something for Spachi, for example. Just to take care, we put it a guard, bringing people, students to visit and try to explain. Because uh, no, n nobody's doing that. So 
no government, no association, and uh, it's a shame for us. Zgrada zatvora SPA, čija od 2007. pod zaštitom države kao spomenik druge kategorije. Ministarstvo kulture Albanije već deset godina pokušava uskladiti sve zakonske procedure kako bi ovo mjesto stradanja pretvorilo u muzej ili mjesto sjećanja. We are in the, into the final step, so we are waiting for this uh, patrimony to come uh, as a patrimony to the Ministry of Culture that after it the Ministry of Culture can proceed with uh, further steps to turn it into a memory place or museum. I'm telling both of them because the specialists of musealization are still working with the community groups in order to understand how it can better stand and what are the plans. In these terms, uh, we, I mean the managerial plan that it is under procedure, it will help a lot and it will give us the final, uh, let's say, uh, way of approaching and the suggestions from the specialist how to proceed and how to move. Uh, into the further steps to make it a reality. We cannot preserve the, the, I mean, we shouldn't preserve the bad story as a good example, that's for sure, but of course we can preserve it as a fact that happened, as a fact to be, to be told uh, with a loud voice for what they people, uh, what those people uh, suffered. suffered in there and how we should never repeat it again and our kids and children's in generation to know the truth of this land. You know, accepting the truth, it is uh, the better way than to go and to proceed with further steps in terms of creating a memory place and honoring these people that actually was jailed for believing in any kind of being free or somebody was jailed because was believing in the God, somebody else because was opposing, just opposing the, the, the political reality of the moment in Albania. So the stories are different in there and only to know that stories, it is a really, really a big patrimony of this country. Vlada je dijelimično otvorila arhive tajne službe za istraživače i žrtve režima, koji u njima mogu naći svoje dosije, ali još im nisu dostupna imena podkazivača i špijuna. Svjesni su da za počinjeni zločin odgovorni nikada neće biti kažnjeni, ali ono što ih boli još i više jeste da im zlo ne mogu oprostiti, jer ih niko za oproštaj nije ni zamolio. Ponavljaju da nema pravde bez mira, niti mira bez oproštaja.